If you're having troubles running your Master XP daily and you want to make it a little bit faster, I'm going to show you how. So first of all, we need our Alchemy Mastery and we want to pick up Unique Brewer. Basically, what it's going to do is going to enable us to craft unique potions. And what we're looking for is Fountain of Wisdom. These potions are not hard to get if you're doing Exodio maps and focusing on the waypoints that has alchemy materials. So basically it's a potion. The more you're gonna do those, the more potions you're gonna be able to craft. I do around like 20 to 25 potions a day, which is actually enough to do my Rune Master XP. With those potions, we basically need an enhanced potion effect. The easiest way to get enhanced potion effect in season is actually a new TM5 unique called Overture of Grace that gives us enhanced potion effect up to 160%. If you have a unique belt, what you need to do, you only need to equip it, use your potion, and equip whatever belt you were using before, basically via snapshotting. If you don't have that belt, I'm gonna show you how to make one. But for this, what we need is two belts of the same base. So this is his, this is barrier belts. And I'm gonna use authorities, Hamal authority on one. On another one, I'm gonna use caster authority. They both have Enhanced Potion Effect on a suffix. We can use three authorities, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna settle down for two Potion Effects instead of three. Triple Authority is kind of a little bit too expensive. So, I'm gonna pick up my Hamal right now. You can roll your Enhanced Effect just by... with Yellow Snakes, with Rare Birth Essences. But that's gonna take a while. You don't need to craft anything else. Only the Enhanced Potion Effect. Something like this, right? And now we're going to transfer. And let's see if it's going to work out. One onto the caster base. Yeah, it should look something like this. What do we want? We want to transfer our enhanced potion effect. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. So right now is the toughest part. And the part that might take you the longest, depending on how lucky you are. So for this one, we want to use our imbue essences and try to imbue another enhanced potion effect. Of course, it might not work out on the first time and we might need to do another transfer because while using suffix removal essences, we can remove our enhanced potion effect, which is gonna be bad, but let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I didn't. Let's try to get lucky. No, it's fire. Again. And you do this till you get lucky for enhance, another enhanced potion effect from the caster authority. Nothing. I got it. That's what it looks like. So I would say this belt is pretty okay for the starters. Because right now, I would need to use Serpent's Essence to remove Cold Resist. Basically, I would choose Cold Resist and I would transfer it to the prefix and then I would remove one of my prefixes and then I would imbue my suffix. But I think this is too expensive, especially if you're a new player. I wouldn't suggest to do it. And at the same time, with this belt, you wouldn't need to transfer for third enhance effect. Because at the same time, depending on how fast you do your maps, better option would be just to do a simple craft that's called enhanced potion duration. Because if you are slow on the maps, getting a high roll on enhanced potion duration actually would increase your XP also. But that's how the belt looks like. But... For it to be good, first of all, we actually want to remove our prefixes. Remove our prefixes because we don't care. We only care about enhanced potion effect because we're gonna snapshot this. And at this stage, you would want to use Vesper Essences. Till you hit high, high tier mods on both of the enhanced potions. I'm gonna use one, but I'm not gonna hit anything high because it's level 94 base. Yeah, after that, what you want to do, you actually want to go onto your alchemy table, crafting, and on one of those enhanced potion effects, you want to roll extra enhanced potion effect. Let's try if I can do it. It's, it shouldn't take too long, but that would be basically the main idea. And if you're rolling on a high level base, yeah, something like this. You can get up to like 100 enhanced potion effect or even a little bit more than 100 ju with just two mods, which is already a lot. If you have extra legendary, uh, legendary essences, you can actually legendary this belt, 
and you might be able to imbue enhanced potion duration which would make this belt really good but i got hp1 but yeah this would be basically the idea on how to increase your own master xp with that potion if you snapshot it every single time before you do a map it can make your rune master xp like up to twice or even up to three times faster than with, without the belt and i highly suggest you do that yeah geez i hope it was helpful and see you in the next one